What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how you can make your monitor display a lot better with this data color spider x now this is a pretty decent bit of kit it's going to allow you to put this over your monitor and plug it into a usb port and what it's going to do is use the software and this piece of hardware here to calibrate the monitor and get the best color uh, perfection out of that monitor so basically once this lens reads the uh, screen it's basically going to go through a bunch of tests and uh, basically give you a really optimized monitor display now who is this really targeted at well it's probably going to be targeted at photographers uh, you know graphic designers and people like that or people that really want to get the best uh, color correction out of their monitor now monitors are very expensive nowadays and if you want to get the best out of it then something like this will do the job so what you do is go through the software installation and you can select whether you want desktop laptop or projector we're going to be doing the desktop monitor here and of course what we're going to do is go in and select our monitor now if your monitor is not listed here then don't worry all you need to do is put other and you can add that monitor in the list as you can see there is a bunch of different monitors here unfortunately uh, MSI is not in the list so that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad monitor or anything like that it just means that it's not listed here and uh, what you can do is just add it in down the bottom so let's go ahead and add in our monitor so I'm going to come down to where it says other click on there and I can type in here MSI once I've typed MSI in click OK and then I can give it the name or the model number of that monitor. Now that's going to be uh, a different to you. So my monitor is the Optics uh, Mag 241C. So you just need to put in here the uh, Optics Mag 21C and that way it will know exactly what monitor that you are using. So I'm just going to quickly type this out and then we can move on to the next step. So I'm just going to quickly type in the model number here so it knows what exactly what to look for and then we can move on to the next step. Now you can see here it's indicated which controls on your desktop display offers which is brightness and you can see that uh, Kelvin uh, preset, uh, presets so you can just do whatever you like here. I'm just going to whack this in and put the both ticks in here. Now I am no expert with this piece of hardware or software. I just uh, follow along the prompt boxes here because that's what we're trying to do here. So now we need to select the uh, backlight here. Now the backlight is depending on which one is on your monitor. If you go to the manufacturer's website and the maker of that, it will tell you exactly uh, what type you have got. You can also look at the data sheet here and it gives you more information. So I'm just going to let this populate and we can take a look. Now, if you've got a more modern one, uh, you can normally uh, select the uh, first option, which is a wide LED. And then I'm going to go by step by step assistant. This is because I'm no expert with this uh, software. So I'm going to go step by step and uh, we'll click OK here. Gives your prompt boxes with plenty of information to uh, understand what is going on. So what it wants to do now is get an idea uh, of what we want to set it up as. So you can see here we've got full cow check cow and recal so you can uh, that's ca uh, calibrate so you make it basically you're just gonna uh, select those options I'm leaving these as recommended and moving on to the next step and you can see it tells me that it's uncalibrated so I'm moving on to the next step here so now what it wants to do now is get an idea or representation of the light in the room so you just leave that on your desk and then click next and what it will do is it normally gives you an idea of what the room what the room brightness is like so you need to select your sensor and then also uh, select all the other options that are available on the screen which you want to select and then you can go into the advanced settings and there's a bunch of things in here as well I'm just going to click next and let it do its thing you can see it's detected that the room light is very high that's because we've got the studio lights on but if you don't have many lights on it's quite dark it will make changes to uh, the settings for you. you can see white white point there and also the brightness it's telling me exactly what to do i'm going to accept these recommended settings and move on to the next stage now once i get here it's asking me to place the device on 
to the monitor here. Now a good tip here is to tilt the monitor back so the device is firmly against the monitor and that way you'll get a good reading of the actual uh, color, brightness and everything else. Now I'm not going to go right away through this, it does take about three minutes and it's just going to go through its calibration phase where it will calibrate the actual monitor to the best uh, of its ability. Now once it's done you can save those options and you should have a nice balanced uh, brightness, color and it should look really really sharp and it's great for photography, video editing or any sort of graphic design or for anyone who wants to get the best performance out of their monitor because they're not cheap. Now it does have some settings here you can load a calibration, you can also um, turn it on or off and you can also go into a bunch of other settings. So anyway I hope this one's been useful to you. It's not a cheap device and I don't think it's for everyone, but if you're interested, the link is in the video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. <laughs>